Welcome to the Afterspin, opinions from thought leaders in our state. I want to ask John Hood and Chris Fitzsimon, Atrium Health is expanding the Wake Forest University Med School by opening in Charlotte. Now, does our state need another med school, especially since Atrium lost $36 million in the first half of this year? Chris Fitzsimon. Well, I mean, we, I think uh, we don't need more uh, specialists of doctors. We need more family physicians. This is a private college and a private uh, entity. They can do whatever they want. The real question is how we fund our health care system, how we make access available to everybody. Part of that is reducing the cost. Part of that is expanding access. I'm not sure that this will make a giant difference, but people in Charlotte have been clamoring for a medical school for a long time. Yeah, they clamored for a law school, too. John, uh, your take on this. Well, that's exactly the comparison people are making. This reminds them of the argument that Charlotte was the largest city in the region without a law school. Then they ended up with Charlotte School of Law. Now we're the lar- Charlotte was the largest city in the region without a teaching, w- without a medical school, and now that's changing. But there's a big difference between these two scenarios because the medical school is backed up by large institutions, Wake Forest, Atrium. The Charlotte School of Law was a, f- was a startup entity that ultimately failed. This is not really a startup entity. I'm not saying it is guaranteed to succeed, but it is a very different kind of venture uh, with these two institutions uh, so heavily invested in it. So uh, what I'm hearing both of you say is you think there is room for another medical school in North Carolina, right? Uh, I do think so. Uh, remember, medical schools are not states. It's not as if all the students at Duke or UNC or ECU stay in North Carolina. A medical school is a medical school. Probably lots of the students in Charlotte who uh, go to medical school, medical school there will practice in South Carolina or Tennessee or somewhere else. I have to mention Campbell started a med school, the last one that's been started. Chris, you think this is a good idea then? Uh, I mean, no, I think it's fine. I don't have any strong feelings about it. I want our state to continue to support our public our public medical schools and continue to emphasize family uh, physicians and figure out how to get doctors and support hospitals and expand Medicaid and have access to health care, I think is far more a dramatic issue. That's a big uh, ticket to uh, wrap your head around on as far as all of it. But we're going to see some more of this situation so far as merging of hospitals are concerned. Are you convinced that there is a benefit to all these mergers, John? Uh, I think some of the mergers actually reduce competition in a given area and therefore increase price and reduce quality. On the other hand, for example, Cone Health in Greensboro just right. announced a merger with a Virginia-based hospital. There doesn't seem to be much overlap there. So for me, the mergers have to do with, are you spreading fixed costs over a much larger geographic region? That might be an argument for it. Or are you reducing competition within a market? That would be an argument against it. The, the Cone merger is a truly a merger of equals, the same size. Uh, for each of them instead of uh, sort of a takeover? That, well, not really in terms of institutions, but they're, they're not as different in employees. Really, the Virginia uh, chain is the larger one. Chris, are we doing ourselves a favor by all these mergers? There have been an awful lot of these consolidations in industry and business that they said was for economy didn't end up that way. Well, the danger is uh, for business and industry, if, the, if there are uh, two places to buy shoes and then there's one, it's not a dramatic problem. If you live in a rural area and the hospital closes because it wasn't profitable after a merger or a takeover, that's a massive problem. So the key here is making sure our rural areas have access to the health care they need. I am worried as we get into this sort of gobbling up of hospital chain after hospital chain or mergers that the people in areas that don't have service or are threatening, threatened not to have service will suffer. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.